What's going on guys? Killer6 back here with some Borderlands 2 and today I want to show you guys how you can reset your playthrough. Say you really want to get that high level Sandhawk or uh, high level B-Shield or whatever it is that you really want in this game but uh, when you were playing through on story mode you got it at level 30 or whatever. Now you want to get it at the level that you're actually at and you've beat the story mode on that level. So you want to reset it. So here's what you do. Right here on your main screen where you have your character select, normally you'll hit continue or you'll hit triangle or um, Y or whatever it is on your, your particular console or system. And that'll bring up your list of characters. As you can see here, we've got a few characters. So we're going to reset, uh, let's reset my siren. Um, this one, yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on her as if I'm selecting her and then you'll see I have my options to choose normal true vault or ultimate vault and on ultimate vault I have the option to reset as you can see right there it says Y to reset which I'm actually using a PlayStation 4 controller so for me it's triangle so I'm gonna hit that and it's gonna say are you sure you want to reset this missions or this playthroughs missions progress this will also cause you to lose any unclaimed rewards that you may have for this playthroughs completed missions so if you're not sure about this you could hit no get back out go into your playthrough and then just double check and make sure that you've already collected all the mission rewards that you want to collect. But once you hit yes, then it uh, has now reset you uh, to cleaning up the Berg and Southern Shelf. So when you start your Ultimate Vault Hunter mode with this character, uh, as you can see we still go OP8 and Launcher. And those of you that do not know what OP8 is, I'm going to make a video pretty soon showing you guys that. Uh, I've had a few questions about what overpower levels are and uh, I'll, I'll be glad to show that to you guys. So as you can see now, we are here in the southern shelf, and even uh, we can go back through this door here and kill Knuckle Dragger too if we want, uh, which is actually probably a good idea, because you know he has a chance to drop the Hornet, and Hornets are fun, I guess. Freeze, sucker! You did. Let's see, did he drop it? I don't think he did. I didn't see anything golden go flying out. Nope, but that's pretty cool. So that's all there is to it, guys. I mean, it's pretty simple, straightforward, but uh, the trick is that, you know, it doesn't really uh, show you that option when you hit continue and choose your character as if you normally would. So, like I said, you have to, to do it exactly the way I showed you there. That will give you the option to reset your playthrough, which will then give you the option to go through and get rewards at your actual level. Now, since I'm an OP8, I mean, it, it's kind of, you know, I've already got everything, but... So you're going to do this when you hit Ultimate Vault Hunter mode, and that way the rewards will scale with you. So as you hit, like, you know, level 60, your rewards will be level 60. As you hit level 72, your rewards will be level 72. And then as you start going through the OP levels, then your gear that you go and farm will be the OP levels that you farm for. All right, guys. Well, I hope this was helpful to you. If it was, then please be sure to hit that like button. Hit subscribe for more. My name is Killer6, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.